going to be fairly windy because of Ian, which as we have said is moving toward southwest Florida. 10 miles an hour to the north is what the official uh, uh, speed and direction from the National Hurricane Center. But when you watch it on uh, radar here, it certainly looks like it's been moving maybe a little bit east of due north. So there has been a little bit of a more easterly motion, which does seem to be taken into account by the Hurricane Center's official forecast. Also, as I pointed out, well-defined eye certainly, but also we're starting to see a lot of those thunderstorms not really wrapping completely around the center. We're starting to see some of them erode away and it may be because of some dry air. Hopefully that is the case and we'll see the strength kind of plateau here before reaching the coast because right now it looks like the storm could continue to strengthen right up to the point of landfall. As we had said the last couple of days, if it were to stay out over the open water as we get into Thursday, the conditions across the Gulf will begin to worsen, which would start weakening the storm. But if it moves inland by tomorrow, we're not going to see that really happen, and it will be a major hurricane making landfall still somewhere between Tampa and Fort Myers, but the model trends have been going a little bit more south of Tampa, even south of Sarasota, and more in the direction of Fort Myers, and that really has been a trend over the last, uh, say, day and a half or so, kind of taking Tampa out of it. Now, again, that is just the center point of the storm. Obviously, the impacts from a very large storm are going to be widespread. Beginning to see the tropical storm force winds probably within the next couple of hours, and that will continue to increase and that core of those strongest winds right around the center will be probably at the moment what we've seen from the models and the forecast south of Sarasota and around the Fort Myers area. So this part of the southern southwestern coast of Florida. For us, though, you know, you kind of feel guilty, but we do need the break. As the storm continues to push to the north, we've got the upper trough. That's what's helping to pull the storm northward. And we will find ourselves on the dry side as it moves northward. As it moves northward, our winds will begin to increase. Dry air is also going to be reinforced because of the motion of Ian. So this beautiful weather, kind of thanks in part to Ian, will stick around through the end.